And welcome back folks to Let's Play The Walking Dead. This is part two of the series. I'm your host, Chart16, of the LP Syndicate. In the last episode we met Clementine, and it looks like we need to find some help, so this is what these two guys are doing. Man, I ain't never getting home to Mama at this rate. This sucks. Oh, it's hot dish night. Looks like they're trying to boost the car, or... Perhaps get it out of the way even. Let's check it out. What's the matter? Should I stay? What? I don't want to sleep in the treehouse tonight, but I don't know if I should leave. What if my parents come home? Um I won't leave you alone. Well, let's go somewhere safe that's close, okay? That's a good idea. It's a very good idea. Hey, man! Holy shit! Don't eat us! We're not gonna hurt you. Yeah. Thought for a second you and the little one were both gonna give us the chomp. We need help. Are you trying to get out of here? Because you should be. Those things are all over the damn place. I haven't seen anything as gnarly as this neighborhood since downtown Atlanta, 15 miles back. I'm Sean. Sean Green. Lee, this is A name time. that should be familiar to anyone who's read the comics. I'm Chet. We shouldn't be out in the open like this. How about you help us clear the way, and we'll take you and your daughter out of here and down to my family's farm. It should be safer there. I'm not a dad. I'm... Uh, who am I? Um... Just some guy. Some guy? I figure it's best not to lie. She's alone? Let's get going. Staying put for too long is a mistake. What do you want to do? I... Your monster's coming. We gotta go. Leave quick. Let's go. Okay, so just press the button, click. Come on, heave. Just some guy? It seems like you saved a bunch of lives today. So the Green Family Farm. Another place that should be familiar to anyone who's read the comics or seen the show even. A very uh, a key location in the series. In the storyline, I mean. That's some great set pieces, great scenes in the TV show, uh, based on the farm. Hey, Sean, set. I'm gonna run on home. My mama's gonna be in a snit. No sweat, man. I'll catch you tomorrow night. It was nice to meet you both. God, you're okay. I was worried it'd be bad here, too. Been quiet as usual the past couple days. We're breaking down the way things have mare's gone lame, but that ain't nothing new. I wouldn't have made it back without Chet. Well, I'm glad you took him with you then. You've brought a couple guests. Um, your boy's option. a lifesaver. Glad he could be a help to somebody. So Give him a bit of an ego boost. Oh, not his daughter. He's, well, just some guy who found her alone. Honey, do you know this man? Yes. Okay, then. Well, looks like you hurt your leg pretty bad there. Uh, yeah. You think? It's not doing so good. I can help you out. Sean, run on in and check on your sister. You, take a seat up on the porch and I'll go see what I have. Let's have a look. Yeah, 
it's just swollen to hell. Could be worse. That's what it sounds like. Seems like things got awful bad in the cities. What did you say your name was? Um, yeah, Good best not to lie. Nice to meet you, Lee. I'm Herschel Green. That does look pretty bad. How'd this happen? Uh, car accident? Car accident. That's so. Where were you headed before the car accident? Prison. I was getting out of Atlanta. I guess that's I the closest one. Stayed. Yeah, well, that's a mistake. We hit a guy. One of those things you've been hearing about. On the road. Who were you with, the girl? I was with a police officer. He was giving me a ride. Awful nice of him. I'm an awful nice guy. House is full up with mine. We got another displaced family of three sleeping in the barn. Another family. My daughter are welcome to rest there when we're done here. I didn't catch your name, darling. Clem Clementine. Can't imagine what you've been through, Clementine. I'm looking after her until we uh, find her parents. Hey, Dad. So I'm thinking, first thing tomorrow, we got to reinforce the fence around the farm. That doesn't seem necessary. I don't know what you saw on TV or heard on the radio, but there's some serious shit hitting the fan. I don't think anyone knows how big it is. You know, a lot of swear in front of kids. Your son's right. You're gonna want to fortify this place. Stuff like that doesn't happen around here, Sean. Dad, I'm serious. Lee, come on. Tell him what you saw out there, man. What did I see? Uh... I watched a man let himself get run over without blinking an eye. Well, do what you think you should. We got plenty of chores as it is. Lee and those folks in the barn can help out in the morning. We gotta do it, really. I think I should have went with the uh, least gruesome option, considering there's a child in the well. I'm all done here. Audience, it start to feel better tomorrow. Thanks. If your leg gets hot or the swelling doesn't go down, you're probably dealing with an infection. Infection. What do we do then? We'll probably just have to shoot you. We'll clean it, redress it, and you'll be fine. Okay, that'd be preferable. There's blankets and such in the barn. We'll be seeing you bright and early. Come tomorrow, which way you think you're headed? Towards making, I suppose. All right, then. All righty, looks like I get to sleep in a barn. It smells like... Hmm, the first option. Manure. Manure? Like when a horse plops? <laughs> yeah. I miss my mom and dad. I bet, Clem. How far is Savannah? Pretty far. Oh, okay. Get up. Who are you? Mm. What an itchy. Well, you slept in a barn, little lady. Lucky you don't have spiders in your hair. <gasps> but I bet your daddy scared them all away, huh? I'm uh, not her dad. Name's Lee. I'm Kenny. Dad, we're in the middle of fence. There's a tractor and everything. Oh, well, it's a farm. Of course, it's a tractor. We better get going, or we won't hear the end of it. That's my boy, Ken Jr. We call him Duck, though. Doc? Doc? Yeah, nothing bothers him. Like water off a duck's back, you know? That's a valuable treat lately. No kidding. But frankly, I think it's because he's dumb as a bag of hammers. Could be that. But he makes up for it with enthusiasm. The word is you were on your way to Macon. My family's from there. Well, Macon's on the way, and personally, I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. That's me. I'll 
see what the girl would like. Ah, gotta consult the missus. I understand. Honey, Duck, this is Lee. And, uh, what's the girl's name? Clementine. Clementine. That is a very pretty name. Thanks. Well, it is a nice name, isn't it? We've all seen what those things can do out there, so the faster we get this fence up, the better. I want to build a fence. Yeah? Well, I need a good foreman. You can sit on the tractor and yell at me whenever I take a water break. On the tractor? Cool! Duck and I will hop to it. I can keep an eye on your little girl here on the porch. We can visit. Sounds good. Now, let's see if we can check up on that fence. You have such pretty hair. Who, me? It's lots of tangles. Oh, okay. Let's say he barely has any hair on, you said. Now, let's talk to this bloke again. Kenny. Hey there, uh, Kenny. Need any help? No, I think I got it. Do you need any help? What do you mean? I mean in taking care of that little girl. You know what you're doing? You got kids of your own? Nope. I have no idea what I'm doing. At least you're honest. Shit. Better than I was when Duck showed up. You'll figure it out. Mm. It's been nice to him. Good, I think. Kachi's got a sister up in Memphis. We were coming back from visiting her. We were in a gas station and some guy grabbed my boy. I thought he was kidnapping him. I was on the fucker in about two seconds and... Christ. Just lucky I was there. We saw a lot of bodies before we stumbled upon Herschel's, but we're a tough family, Lee. Ain't nothing gonna phase us. So what's your family's plan? Get back on down to Lauderdale and let this mess get sorted out. Government will start handing out shots and the National Guard will do its thing. On the odd chance things got too bad, we could hop on my boat, I guess. You've got a boat. I'm on a boat. Fisherman, catching mackerel, dolphin. Whatever's biting and paying. Katya wouldn't be wild about it, but the boat's not that bad. See you. Nice talking to you, Kenny. I wonder what the girls have to say. Can I talk to you? No? Hello, don't ignore me. Did your daddy give you that hat? Mm-hmm. Fine. I guess you don't wait. Yeah. Seems like those two are getting along. I guess I don't want to talk to me. Let's check on the fence. I wonder if there's a sprint key on this game. Doesn't seem like it. How you doing, Duck? Good. I'm going to drive the tractor. I'm the foreman. Lift with your back, Sean. Hmm. Looks like he's having a good time. I talk to Sean. Sean's still working on that fence. Obviously. Hey Lee. Need a hand? That'd be great. If you could cut those two bytes to length, that sure speed things up. My dad doesn't know how bad it is. No, he doesn't. I saw a guy in Atlanta kill a kid. A boy. Just shot him right in the face. Ouch. Was the boy one of the walkers? I don't even know. He was either attacking the guy or asking for help. He didn't even hesitate. He just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes, and pulled the trigger. You don't see things like that. It's not like in the movies. They don't fall like you think. Did you have to do it? Do what? Kill. Have you had to off one yet? Oh. Uh. Hmm. Got the last option. It's kill. Be killed. I guess. I don't think I'd sleep good after that. I'm just glad we're getting this fence built. Dad just wants to keep the family safe and thinks inviting people in is a bigger threat than whatever's out there. How about yours? How's your family? My brother and parents are in Macon. I hope. Oh man, I hope so too. Maybe it's not too bad there. That's probably all I need cut for now. Thanks. 
You're welcome, I guess. And Sean, thanks again for the ride. No problem, Lee. Couldn't leave you behind. Anyway, when you see my dad around, he might want some help in the barn. Hmm. Let's go talk to the old man. Well, that was quick. Yeah. Hello? How'd you get out of Atlanta? I was on my way out anyway. The timing of all this just happened to be right. Huh. If there ever is a good time for the supposed apocalypse. Uh, this farm's a nice plot of land. Huh. Had you told me 20 years ago I'd still be doing this, I would have told you that you were full of crap. Never was a plan having a place like this. It was in the family, and I guess so was I. Family's important. It's all that matters. Do you agree with that? Was brought up to, yes. Where's your family now? Parents? Wife? Girlfriend? Hmm. First option? My parents are in Macon with my brother. Well, I hope they're all right. But now you've got this little girl to take care of. Clementine, is it? You just stumbled up on her? I was being attacked and she came to my rescue. Hmm. Can I give you a piece of advice? Okay. Sure. I don't know who you are or what you did, but you better become a better liar and fast. Liar? Let's say things don't get better back in the cities, or they get worse before they do. You're going to have to depend on the honesty of strangers if you're going to make it. And if those same people get to questioning yours, you're going to be in trouble. So whoever you are and whatever you did, keep it to your damn self. But at least you have the common sense to listen to a man giving you advice. Whoa, what's happening? Go! I'll get my gun! Okay, we've got a choice to make here. We can only save one of them. I'm gonna save the kid. Nice hit. Too late for him now. Hmm. Get the fuck out of here! I'm sorry. Sorry? Your son is alive. You don't get to be sorry. And you! You didn't even try to help. And that's all the time we have for this episode. I'm your host, Chowd60. Thanks for watching. To find out what happens next, hit the like button, hit subscribe, and tune in next time. I'm out of here.